Vincent, if you could uh, tell me the name of your story. That's Three Thursdays in the Bronx. Cool. And what's your story about? It's, um, it's a story told through the eyes of a son uh, on a path to discovering the mysteries of his mother. Wow. Um, what are your feelings on the story? It's very, it's actually very moving. It's, um, it's, it's one of these stories, it's told so poetically and beautifully uh, about this young man or man who's in search of answers to why perhaps his mother had made the decisions uh, that she's made throughout the course of her life and right. some of the things she's had to endure, endure uh, throughout her life. Do you personally relate to the story at all? I mean, is there anything that in yeah, it that I... Yeah, you know, there's, uh, I think, I hope there's a part in all of us where we know certain things about our parents, but there's a certain divide uh, that happens from when you're a child that as you become an adult, you start learning things about them and why they've done the things they've done and how they've become the people that they've become. And um, that is certainly something I can relate to. What would you say is, is the, the real core of the story? I mean, like, like, you had to boil it down, you know, what, what would you...? Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd say, to boil it down, I would say that um, it's a, a son presenting the trials and tribulations uh, that he's discovered about his mother uh, prior to his existence. Gotcha. Gotcha. And, and now, what are your feelings on, on, on language and, and the importance of language in, in our society? Well, I feel like it's uh, certainly taken for granted. I feel that it's abused. Uh, there's not, there's, we're in a society now where communication has become so easy that it's um, taken for granted uh, with texting, uh, cell phones, and, uh, emails and all this other stuff that uh, we abbreviate everything, we um, perhaps don't find the most important words, we have a habit and knack for um, just kind of abusing, uh, abusing the gift of language. And, um, uh, that's what's so great to be involved with the word theater because we remind ourselves and hopefully the audience participating that um, when you, that things can be told in, in, in very poetic and um, important ways, uh, you know, that a, a feeling, complex feelings in life situations can be conveyed clearly, and that is special to me. I mean, it's also unique to only to, to oral story, like the storytelling, oh, you know? yeah, yeah, to create images from a story. Uh, the art of storytelling is a dying, Thing, certainly in its purest form. I mean, we have movies and television and uh, all things on the internet now, and, uh, and music, of course. But uh, to be able to actually sit down a group of people in a campfire setting and tell a story and have a moral or a, a point or a, you know feelings and expressions you're trying to convey, it's a, it's a beautiful thing. It's um, it's nice to be a part of something that keeps it keeps it front and center, at least to a small audience for the time being.